Hello, it's Wes, Super Wes that is. In this video, I wanna talk about what to do if the pulse ox alarms. When the pulse ox alarms, it's okay to silence the alarm because sometimes it's hard to concentrate with a beep in, but do not ignore it. When it alarms, first, look at your patient. Are there any signs or symptoms of distress? If there are, fix the underlying problem. If there are no signs or symptoms of distress, there are several things to check. Check the probe. Is it plugged in? Is it in place? Is the sender and the receiver on opposite sides of the finger and are they facing each other? Is the alarm due to the heart rate or from the oxygen saturation? Is your patient moving? If your patient is moving, it can cause an artifact in the reading. If your patient is on a monitor in ICU, you should see a waveform like this one. It needs to be a nice steady rhythm where it's picking up the pulse well. If it's in a machine like this, the LED light will rise and fall with each heartbeat. And the higher it goes, the better the signal is getting. The pulse oximeter has to have a good signal for you to rely on the reading of the oxygen saturation. If you're in the hospital, is the blood pressure cuff on the same arm as the pulse oximeter? Is it inflating right now? Does the pulse you, you palpate correlate with what's reading on the pulse oximeter? If not, you cannot trust what it's reading. Sometimes if the pulse oximeter is on neonatal settings, then when the oxygen saturation reaches 100%, the pulse ox will alarm. Is the light in the room so bright that it's washing out the light from the pulse oximeter probe? Is the pulse oximeter probe too tight? If it is too tight, it'll squeeze all the blood out of their extremity so you cannot get a good reading. Is their blood pressure low? Ask the patient if they have a perfusion problem. A common one is Raynaud's disease. This affects the fingers, but it does not affect the toes, so you can place the pulse ox probe on their toes in that situation. There are many causes for the pulse oximeter probe to alarm, but remember, check your patient first. If there are any signs or symptoms of distress, take care of the underlying cause, get some additional help, and fix the problem. If you enjoy this video or my others, please click like, feel free to comment, suggest any additional videos, and subscribe to my channel. Okay, thank you so much.